Hey, it's Tim here. Tableau conference is next week. So as ever, let's get stuck in. Okay, so we're here on the Tableau conference webpage. Tableau conference is next week. So what I wanted to do is a bit of a preview of what to expect at conference next year, how to prep for it if you're going in person, and then finally, the kind of sessions I'm going to really want to dial into if I was attending in person. Of course, I'm not, but a subset of them will be streamed on Salesforce Plus. So I'll also show you how to access that. Um, let's break everything down and let's get started. Um, before we do that, though, let's 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 address a couple of things. So many people have been in touch saying, "Hey, are you going to be at conference?" <laughs> I won't be at conference, and actually for very good reason. Listen, um, my wife's pregnant. We are having our third child. We've already got two children under three years old. So um, I need to be around to sort of help hold the fort down. So I won't be at conference this year. It's a very, I think, logical reason. So um, unfortunately, I can't see many of you devs, uh, you know, community members. And also, you know, viewers of this channel. But nonetheless, I will be doing the live stream. That is something I can do remotely. Um, and I will be sort of dialing into the usual content schedule that I do during conference, which is breaking down the main events, live streaming the keynote, live streaming the Iron Viz or whatever, doing what we can with the event to kind of make it work remotely. Okay. So that's something you can expect next week as ever. Now, in terms of the conference itself, um, this year is actually slightly different. It's a little bit smaller, but I don't think that's a bad thing. I think it's a little bit more compressed. And to be honest with you, I've always thought conference was one day too long. So I, for one, I'm actually happy that it's compressed into a short amount of time because it means the value comes thick and fast and it's much easier to engage with. Now, to find out what the schedule looks like, if you go to the Tableau Conference homepage, actually the homepage does a good enough job of this. You don't need to go to any tab here. You can just sort of scroll down. And you immediately get a sense of, the, the kind of key emphasis here, so the, the kind of activities you can expect, who's going to be talking, um, and what the three days look like. So if I just sort of move this out of the way, actually, let's not do a full face here. Let's do that. I think you can just see everything just about right. Um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, that's essentially the, the, the setup. Monday is always sort of a soft day with trainings and doctor sessions and hands-on. If you've got a problem and you want to fix a tablet conference, Monday is the day to do that. I guarantee you. If you don't sort it out on Monday, you won't sort it out on Tuesday and you definitely won't have time on Wednesday. So <laughs> come on Monday to solve all the problems, talk to all the people you want to talk to to get sort of solutions done. Tuesday is when I think you should be dialing into the keynote, the events that Tableau put on for you right from the morning, right from the very start of the day, all the way through to the day to night out. That's going to be a fantastic event as ever. So be sure to go ahead and check it out. I, for one, will be mainly focusing on the keynote and Iron Viz. Um, those are the two things that I think are very interesting to watch. And as part of the keynote, we will have devs on stage again, which will be sort of a small thing on the end of the keynote, which is actually how it used to be. It used to be separate um, briefly after that, but now it's sort of back with the keynote. So we'll have the keynote and devs on stage and then everything else as normal. Now, as well as these main sort of flagship, ugh, I can't talk, as well as these main flagship sessions, we also have breakout sessions as well. So breakout sessions are actually uh, much more nuanced. Some of these are not being recorded. Only the key ones that I think Tableau and Salesforce really want to get out there are going to be recorded for the benefit of Salesforce Plus. So this is the schedule. I highly encourage that you just maybe put the keynote and Iron Viz on your diary. I appreciate that time zones are spread around the world. So uh, some of these might not be in a suitable time. The conference is in Pacific time. So that also makes it a little bit more tricky in terms of just kind of navigating the timings. But Salesforce Plus tends to restream them at a suitable time for your region. So for me in the UK, um, once it's been live on Salesforce Plus, you'll be able to go back and watch it again the next morning. So, you know, you're not going to miss out on much. Um, just make sure you tune in the next day to find out what's happened. So that's the schedule in a nutshell. Now, we'll come back to the sessions in a second. What I wanted to call out, though, is before you start planning your sessions, if you're new to conference or you're just trying to look for ideas, Tableau have done something fantastic this year, which I think is really cool. They've done something called Trail Map. So I think this is maybe borrowed from some sort of uh, Salesforce sort of ideology. But anyway, what you can do is you can essentially pick high level tracks that they've put together for you. So this makes it easy for you to kind of see the themes of the content and really you don't have to follow these, but it just packages all the uh, like minded sessions together. So if you're coming to Tableau conference, and you want to know everything to do with AI, which I'm actually quite curious for myself. If you go ahead and hit explore, um, you'll see that it loads up a page that gives you sort of a, a key, a key sort of summary of what's going on. We'll get the main keynote. We'll get um, a little bit of a session on Einstein Copilot for Tableau. That's sort of really earmarked as like a headline piece. So I think it's really important to kind of uh, see what they are talking about there. And then we have the sessions. And I think this is the really nice part. You can quickly pull out the sessions that relate to these trial maps, 
right here. And so just by looking at these and scanning these, I've already identified some absolute banger sessions I think you should go to. Einstein Copilot for Tableau, your data exploration partner. If this is what I think it is, going to be a sensational feature. I think you should absolutely get involved and go and check out that session. That will be that will be just a really nice sort of session to come and understand how Tableau is thinking about AI in terms of helping everyday data analysts. So that's sort of really the way I kind of think of Copilot, something that helps developers rather than something that helps people who are using uh, data. Like Tableau Pulse is more for everyone. Copilot is more for, you know, dashboard developers and report builders. Um, there's going to be a lot of great content on um, lots of other platforms as well. So Tableau Prep, um, you'll obviously have content on Tableau Pulse as well, which has just been launched. But I think we will also have lots of great sessions on Tableau Desktop, partly delivered by the community, partly delivered by Tableau. But I really do think Salesforce's focus is on the AI enabled features, the newer parts of the platform. So there'll be that sort of interesting friction, I guess, between you know the, the legacy part of Tableau, desktop and server, and then you've got the modern side of Tableau, cloud and pulse and AI and stuff like that. So I think you'll get that tension naturally within the sessions. But just to call this out again, trail maps, absolutely fantastic. The trail map that I really like the look of is the data analyst one. The reason I like this one is because in there, there was actually some a good balance between sessions that you can you know take back and apply in your everyday work, and a good balance between sessions that are actually going to you know kind of show you where the future is heading as well. So if you sort of sign up to everything in this track, I think it'll be really cool. One I spotted, and I kind of know a bit of context about this as well, which is why I spotted it. You know, popped out to me. Multi-fact analyses using Tableau data model. To me, data model is the most underappreciated part of the whole entire Tableau platform. Um, alongside Tableau Prep, actually, I'll put that in the list as well. And this is, I think, going to be a really important part of the Tableau ecosystem. You know, data connections, doing joins. If you look at most of the Tableau help out there, it's all designed with the old way of thinking about Tableau in mind. Data model has been one of the newest parts. And honestly, you can solve really hard challenges with a data model, but it's still quite of a hurdle. And one of those challenges is actually making it fully capable. And what I think this might do is uh, go into a little bit more detail about how that might be happening in the future. So for this to be at the conference and for, for, for these two speakers, Thomas Nan and uh, Kurt Munro, both sensational speakers. I absolutely love both of them as well. Everything they do is going to be good. So I can endorse uh, that particular session. Absolutely going ahead and, and check it out. And then don't forget to kind of just immerse yourself in sessions that you think you already know. And this is sort of interesting, right? Go to a session, go to one or two sessions covering things you think you already know because you always will learn something new. That's when you kind of realize there's new ways of thinking and approaching things. So don't just assume, oh, I know I know how to do data storytelling. Don't go to that. Well, I encourage you to go to that and see how someone else is thinking about it because you will learn something really, really good. So those are the trial maps. I've sort of labored that and <laughs> sort of almost too much. Let's go back to, actually, let's go back to the landing page and, and sort of just go look at the, the rest of the, the page. Um, one of the things I do want to call out is um, obviously the location, San Diego, lovely. If you're going early, it's a great time to do things like certification and get everything done. So that's super important. This is also the best setting because you rarely get a chance to do an exam in a room where everything is set up correctly. And if something goes wrong, well, guess what? You're doing it right there with Tableau. So it just works, right? So this is it's honestly the best time to do any exam is that conference. You're in the vibe, you've got the time, you've got the space, you can kind of zone out. You don't have to take time off work to do it. You're already where you need to be, the best place to go and do any exam. So it might sort of put you off doing it at the beginning, but I honestly think this is it's where I've done half of my certifications in, in the past. Um, obviously, we've got the sponsors as usual. San Diego, lovely, lovely um, place to be doing it. So bear in mind the weather if you're going to go there. And um, the thing I'll also call out now is um, if I just bring in my side panel here and we go to uh, Sarah Bartlett's blog, um, she does a great know before you go blog post. So this is the Tableau Conference 2024 know before you go. It's been themed up for San Diego, which I absolutely love. And Sarah's gone and updated it and kind of given you everything you need to know. And this is great if you're new to conference or if you're just you know, you've gone to conference, maybe it was a long time ago, five years ago. This is, a, this is a great thing to go and visit again. It gives you context for the keynote as well, and it gives you context for how these things work. And she's put her own spin on this and some perspective as well. So maybe you've thought about, you know, going to a session, or maybe you've thought about doing conference differently, or maybe you're, you know, only there for a day or two. This is going to be a great resource to kind of pinpoint you in the right direction and make sure 
you're getting the most of conference. So be sure to check out Sarah's blog post. I'll put a link to it in the description in the comments as well, because I think it's an invaluable resource. Now, in terms of the remaining content, um, the key thing I, I kind of wanted to, to kind of talk about is a preview of what to expect. So last year, we really had the statement from, you know, Salesforce saying, hey, look, um, this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be trying to enable the next wave of analysts. And that's where we got the first glimpse of Tableau Pulse. And then it rolled out a little later in the year. And then we started to get the soundings of Copilot. And now we are kind of a year into everything. And we now have a much more sort of, let's say, concrete idea of what the foundation of the platform is going to be. At this conference, I'm expecting this to be a more sure-footed sort of placement of where Tableau is heading. Because um, I think last year was was maybe a reactive year. We were reacting to the trends, kind of meeting meeting the wave of opportunity that AI presented. But going forward, I think Tableau now has to be super confident about the steps, the steps it takes. And it needs to convince people that those steps are in the places they need help. So um, a couple of areas. Um, as an author, as a developer, it's kind of felt like with Tableau Pulse that the focus has gone away from you. And it's kind of felt like the focus has gone more towards the everyday sort of analyst who's just consuming a report. I feel like this conference definitely needs to strike that balance of showing what AI can do for everyday developers, people building reports. Can we build things faster? The things I've shown you can do in ChatGPT, can we do them natively in Tableau? And then um, the other side of uh, the, the picture is also, you know, at, at, at Tableau Conference, we also get this sort of vision piece. So last year it was this augmented reality demo that we got. So that was a really sort of nice thing. And that demo has been done quite a bit now. I think a lot of people have seen that demo. It's been great. But that was done in a context where augmented reality wasn't actually that big. We hadn't had Apple with the Apple Vision Pro kind of putting anything out there to get people thinking about it. We hadn't had uh, Meta release the Meta Quest 2 or 3. And really, those platforms seem a world away. And I, I really like the idea that, you know, Tableau put out there with um, the the um, with the augmented reality demo that you didn't need expensive hardware to be sort of doing anything. So I'd love to see where they can take that idea if they had the opportunity to use some hardware. I, I don't know if that's something they'll do, but hey, um, that's going to be another great discussion. Now, the final thing is, I think, it's kind of an underlying tone at a conference, which you might not even see. You might not even see this discussion playing out, really. You won't ever see it. But the role of partners in the ecosystem. Historically, Tableau has been very much uh, a company that sort of works with its partners and very, you know, works hand in hand. You can actually see some of them here are sponsors. Um, but what is interesting about this is that I think for the first time, Tableau is asking its partners to do something entirely different. In the past, Tableau has asked its partners to reach new people, help deploy Tableau, help get into really difficult places. Going forward, I think Tableau and Salesforce, and by extension, want partners to help build and add solutions on the platform. So whereas before it was about getting the platform out, Tableau going forward, I think, want to help, want help getting ideas and solutions built. So some of the things we've seen this year have been things like the SDK for migration so that partners and you know, collaborators, collaborators can go and build those solutions. We've also seen uh, the you know test and trial of the charts API. So I'm expecting to see what comes out of that. I'm, I'm really excited to see a whole wave of new types of partners. You know, before we've had these, what I would call sort of um, boutique consultancies that are, you know, setting up as partners. I'm hoping to see the more individual contributors, the, you know, innovators. We've had so many of them on this channel showcasing products that they've built around a Tableau. I'd love to see that kind of partner come to the fore a little bit more, make that sort of more of an interesting battle. And then very finally, I think we're seeing an element of, you know, Tableau also taking uh, the leash off Tableau a little bit, really sort of seeing what it can do with the platform, ripping it open and just throwing ideas out there that I think are going to be fantastic. And as ever, you know, just because they show at a conference doesn't mean it's coming out. And so that's a really safe place for them to try out these ideas, see how they message, see how the community takes them. And then also importantly, have everyone you need to talk to in the right place to be able to get these ideas quickly. So lots of developers will be coming to you, asking you for your opinion, give them and share those opinions. I can't tell you how many uh, things get solved at conference because uh, you're there with the product manager. The developer who's working on it is also there. And you can just quickly iterate on something. And it's just not quite the same as a phone call or a video call as we do to the, these days. So, um, yeah, that's that's me. That's me rambling. That's me rambling. I totally admit I've been rambling. So uh, we'll, we'll cut it off there. So that is the Tableau conference. As for what I'll be doing, so I don't actually know 100%. I'll definitely do a live stream for the keynote. 
I'll definitely do that. I'll definitely do a live stream for Iron Viz, although I might have to sort of, you know, temper my expectations a little bit because that's quite late for us in the UK. And I've got work the next day. So <laughs> old man Tim here really has to get to bed by uh, uh, by a good time, given given kids and family and life and so on and so on. So uh, we really do have to kind of get to a good place. So we'll kind of figure out what we're doing, but I will do a long run up of content after conference, just breaking down some things that I think are really interesting. And of the sessions recorded on Salesforce Plus, I'll go through and break them down and do the thing I usually do. And then we need to get back on the train of content. Like I've been really quiet. You probably noticed the, the the pace of content has dropped down a little bit. Life has just been super hectic um, for a lot of reasons I've already described. So um, I want to try and build up, but I want to do it in a sustainable way. And frankly, what I'm doing at the moment is just building out that team. I've been saying I've been doing that for a while, but it really just takes time to find the right people and get the right setup. And in the background, I'm also seeing lots of great other content creators do stuff. If you haven't seen Data with Barra's 21 hour course on Tableau Desktop, my word, that is a Herculean effort if, if there ever was one. I don't think anyone has made a video that long about Tableau ever and uh, he's gone and done it and he's done a great course and the feedback that I'm seeing on the comments of, of, of his post and his blog is absolutely amazing so I'll put a I'll put a call out to that in the description go ahead and check that out other people are making great content Donna Bell Santos just crossed a hundred thousand subscribers if you don't know about her content go ahead and check that out you've got the usuals uh, you've got the Andy Kreebles you've got so many people Techie Anshi I could go on and on and on the Tableau community here on YouTube is fantastic. So if I'm not making content, you've got plenty of other people to follow along. And uh, I do see every single comment that's shared on this channel. I know sometimes I don't get or get a reply, but I see every single comment and don't worry. All the people who've said, hey, where's part two of this? Where's part two of that? Trust me, I have a list <laughs> of videos to get to and they're all on there. It's just time. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.